right now in Berlin. Graham Dot sitting in a dressing gown, slippers on, smoking a pipe. He's done the business already. He's into the final of the 2018 German Masters. But who is going to join him? I am sick of the sight of Mark Williams. This season's been brilliant. You've gone deep more than a Navy submarine. OK, take the shot first. He's so fussy. I'll tell you my theory while you do it. The letter B... You want him Bangkok this season. You want him Belfast this season. Where are we now? Berlin. Are you feeling confident? I'm just looking forward to him on anything. Yeah, that's what I love about you this season. Win or lose, it's just that granite, you know? It's not about that. It's almost like that Rudyard Kipling point. If I just try my best um, every tournament, and, and this season's going fantastic, and all three continues. Lovely. Look at that. Now, consummate professional. Will he go through? Of course, a world champion. Three world champions we have in the semi finals. He takes on Judd Trump here. Judd, sorry to interrupt you, mate. I know you take your practice very, very seriously. Two games yesterday, and you said about everything going on at the same time in the quarterfinals. No distractions tonight. That suits you better. Yeah, I think it, it suits the, the real top players. I think they can just get on with their own game and um, not worry about what's going on. So I think it'll be an exciting game tonight. Did you watch Dottie this afternoon? Or are you young and did you get out in Berlin and do something more interesting? Yeah, I was doing something a little bit more interesting. OK, we'll leave it at that. That's mysterious. I won't shake your hand because I don't want to affect the queue in action. But just hit me right there. Good man. Happy days. Lovely stuff. So Judd Trump, last few warm-up shots here. Mark Williams down there. Graham Dot already through to the final. But who is going to join them live on Eurosport tonight? As they say, two's company, three's a crowd. Two players is special enough. But what makes tonight magical is the fact that we're here. We're here in Berlin, where they love the bees. And it's only when you walk through this curtain, when there's just one table at the Temperdrome, when you just realize, if you're a player, the sound just hits you square in the face. It cascades from all sides when there's only one table. Even when the lights have gone off, at the main table, they still cheer and cheer and give standing ovations. One of the most generous crowds on the planet. And I'm balling right now, looking right at Neil Foles, Ronnie O'Sullivan and Jimmy White. Always a buzz, Neil, isn't it? Always a buzz, no matter how many years we've been here, to walk out here when there's just one table. Yeah, and uh, these two guys have, have been here and done it. Uh, Judd's been in the final, and Mark Williams won it here, and Mark was even emotional at that point, so they know what to expect. And uh, as Judd said, this kind of brings out you know, the best in, in, in the quality players, this kind of atmosphere. Yeah, listen, you've been one of the seven players lucky enough to lift the title here, Ronnie. What's just your thoughts on one table snooker at the temperature? Yeah, it's fantastic, you know, um, like you say, you know, brilliant crowd, um, great venue, and, you know, you, you couldn't, like, like I, was, I was speaking to Neil before, they said if, if ever you had to take the World Championships away for a year to do some work there or something, you'd probably bring the World Championships here because it's such a great venue, you know? Yeah, they'd be all right, they'd be sold out every night. <laughs> And on that point, picking up, Jimmy, outside of the UK, and I'm talking all over the world, where does this place rank? Uh, there's a place in Hong Kong we just recently went back to where we used to go and play there in the 90s, and that's a brilliant venue, but this is right up there. with It's fantastic atmosphere, fantastic conditions, all the players like it, and the crowd loves it. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, they know how to pander to the crowd, don't they? Unbelievable. Listen, have you been doing other stuff and this is your first time joining Eurosport this week? It's an absolute delight, but I'm sorry. We... Yay! <laughs> I love a power cut. We went from power cut to the lights back on. Absolutely fantastic. Here's the draw if you haven't joined us this week. <laughs> I love that. Do you remember it happened at your house, Jimmy? Growing up, you get the candles out and play cards. Brilliant. No, That's what we all would have done. Bill. Thousands of us. <laughs> 50p's back in the meter. Graham Dot's beaten Sean Murphy already. 6-4. What a game that was. And it's Judd Trump against Mark Williams tonight. We had three world champions. Judd Trump, though, the favourite. Just your thoughts very quickly, guys, on what's ahead tonight. Neil? Well, I think, you know, Mark Williams is a player that's been there for a long time, been world champion, and uh, he's tinkered with his game a little bit, you know. He's found the new angle, and that was what Graham Dot has done. So he's a really classy player. You know, Judd is younger, you know. He's not reached 30 yet. He's 28, so he's still at that upward uh, part of his career. But I think he's got something to prove. It's very interesting match, these two. OK, excellent. Ronnie, Jimmy and Neil will have a lot more time to talk 
about this wonderful matchup when we come back. We'll take a couple of minutes out, and this place then is going to go crazy and enjoy their snooker like they always do. Cannot wait. Mark Williams against Judd Trump. First to six frames. Electric tonight in Berlin. Apart from the lights. Well, is that a full moon in the sky over Berlin or a cue ball? That would be absolutely fitting, wouldn't it? We get a cue ball moon tonight. The semi-finals of the 2018 German Masters. Graeme Dot awaits the winner of Mark Williams against Judd Trump. We've already had a bit of snow today as well, just like a gentle sheet falling all day. And we cannot get away from the white stuff here. The women's Super G then, Euros for two tomorrow at 11 a.m. as we build up to the big one. Eurosport is here for you the whole way through the Winter Olympics from Pyeongchang from the 9th of February to the 25th of February. Well, listen, guys, John Trump's literally just left the table. Jimmy, that's the latest I've seen a player practice. I mean, they're walking in a couple of minutes. Yeah, you know, he started off last night at 140 break. Um, his 4 one up in the match looked like it was all over. Then Ding come back at him and he struggled. So he needs to find his form early doors tonight because Mark Williams is playing as good as I've seen him play ever. Yeah, it was really interesting last night he did. He, the, the juggernaut was off like a juggernaut, but then absolute shreds fell ro Ronnie in the last couple of frames, both for Ding and him. Yeah, but the, the key is to win them matches. You yeah. know, you get, that, you get the ugly one out of the way and then, you know, you, you're never going to play well in every match. So he's got that one done and, you know, hopefully for him he'll play well tonight and if he does play well he'll be probably a, a slight favourite and um, I think Williams needs to play somewhere near his best to, to have a chance of winning tonight, I think. Yeah. As we can have a look there, he beat Ding Junhui. Ding Junhui actually beat Judd Trump in the final here in 2014, so a little bit of revenge. Judd always up for a little chat with Neil Folds. We caught up with him just before we came on in. Well, I think generally your form this week has been very good. Just a little blip at the end uh, last night against Ding Junhui, but you, you must be hitting them well. Yeah, I felt good, uh, especially my first and third game. I think I started off very well. And that gave me the confidence for the rest of the game to kind of go out and dominate the match. Just thinking, you seem very popular in uh, mainland Europe. You've already won the, the European Masters in Belgium. You must like playing over here. Yeah, I, I seem to play well. I think um, the, the crowd is normally pretty good over here. I seem to just be able to relax probably a little bit more than I do in some of the other events. What about your thoughts on Mark Williams, your opponent tonight? Very experienced, a dual world champion. Yeah, he's an experienced player, I, I think. Um, over the past couple of seasons, I've got a good record against him now. I think um, he's obviously back to, to somewhere near his best. I think um, he's a lot more confident than he has been in the past. So let's just go out and hopefully play like I, like I have been doing. Just finally, uh, playing here at the Timber Drone, down to the one table. It was buzzing this afternoon. We can expect the same tonight. You ready for it? Yeah, amazing atmosphere here. I obviously played here once before. I think he's probably one of the best to be playing in front of. So I think any time you get to play in front of this crowd, you're always going to be excited. Appreciate your time. Good luck. Thank you. Cheers so much chat about why Mark Williams is playing better. I think his wife Jo deserves loads of credit because when he was going to quit, she said, I tell you what, why don't you just change? And he did with the sight light and everything. But Jimmy, you reckon more than anything, it's because he's practicing back to the type of levels he would have when he was 22, 23. When you, when you change something with your game, it makes you want to practice. And then all of a sudden, through the practice, he's playing very well and he's got a lot of confidence. Absolutely. Let's hear from him. Here's Mark Williams. Mark, yeah, another semi-final for you. You must be absolutely delighted with the way you've been playing this season. Um, yeah, I've uh, had a look at a couple of the tournaments, the last tournaments. I've got, to, I think, eight quarters out of the last 11 or something. A couple of wins and a semis of this one. So, you know, if you said I did an half of this at the beginning of the season, I'd have bit your hand off. You've been playing on uh, the outside tables. Uh, you've got no choice but to put you on the match table. There's only one in there. Yeah, I didn't even realise there was a match table Yeah, I was just floating around on the outside. But... Uh, be interested to see what table I'll play on today because they might have to put me on there now. They will, the semi finals, one table, great setup here. I mean, you've won the tournament before, you know what to expect. Uh, yeah, it'll be a fantastic crowd, the music's already going, yeah. and uh, you, you know, with the atmosphere, this is probably as close as to the Wembley Conference Centre as you could probably play in. And uh, you know, it's a big arena, big occasion, I'm looking forward to it. I know you're quite moved actually by all the you won it here. Um, yeah, it's a long time since I won it, you know, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, one table set up like our playing Judd Trump, one of the best players in the world. Uh, you can't ask for any more. I was going to ask you about Judd, your thoughts on playing Judd again. You've had some success against him, but you've not played him that much recently. Um, no, I haven't played him much because I obviously I haven't been getting to the later stage of the tournaments for the last few years, but I have done 
uh, this year, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. He's, you know, I, I like watching him play. Uh, you know, I think, I th like I said before, I think he's definitely going to win a world championship, and I think uh, I'm tipping him this year because I think being out of the, the Beijing, uh, I think he can prepare even better, and I think this is probably his best chance to, to win the world. Well, good luck with your game and what you're looking forward to today. Thank you, Neil. Well, he doesn't want to watch him play too much tonight. That'll mean he'll be in his seat at the moment. Judd Trump has the lead in the head-to-head, -head, but you're only as good as your last game. What's your thoughts on this one, Jimmy? What way is it going to go? Um, I think it's going to be very close, but I just fancy Judd Trump to just nick it 6-4. Ronnie, thoughts on this and how they match up? Yeah, well, Trump's obviously beat him quite a lot there, you know, and I just think he measures up well. You get some opponents you fancy, and I think, obviously, Trump fancies beating Mark all day long, really, but, you know, I think Mark's playing really well at the moment, so it should be one of them close ones, maybe. When we were talking to them when we were right at the beginning of the show, Neil, it's that thing that Mark, if, if he's 5-1 down, he'll play his game. If he's 5-1 up, he'll play his game, and it just leans towards that we're going to be here for a long time. Tonight. Yeah, that's right. Look, you know, um, Mark beats Mark Selby in the Masters, so, you know, he's very capable at the top level still, he, and he, he's, he's a champion, so whatever he's doing, he's doing right, you know, and he, he's been tinkering with his game, but he's in great form. I love this. Listen to this. They are on the big screen at the moment in the temperature room, and they know when we shut up, the snooker can begin. Ronnie and Neil are going to be in the commentary box with Dave Hendon throughout this evening. But, Ralph, this is your moment. Give the crowd what they want. Here is Berlin. Here is the Tempodrome. Welcome to the second half of the German Masters 2018.